Uh, I'll finish this video first. He's okay. He'll be fine. I figure the Braithwaite's were going to hold Jack Branch for all the money we cost him. They must have sent him here so we couldn't get to him. But Ronte knows by now there's no Braithwaite's left to pay him. Jack ain't much use to him anymore. Let's just... Get this done. Dutch handle the rest. I just hope you're right. Yeah. Okay. Excuse me. I think this is it. Keep it down. Let's hitch your horses up ahead. Wait, what? No, wait. This way. Hold on, John. There we go. Son of a bitch. Can I not? Oh my god. Fucking God, shut the fuck up, John. I don't want my bolt action. Are we doing this? All right. Shut up. Let's see what's going on in here. Which, by the way, didn't I put the pump action there in the lane? Whatever. to drink friend died they can hear us you know they're still with us you should get yourself home behind me.
Never had them disarm me. Someplace. Okay, but we'll need to be quick. We can't go back to Bronte empty handed. Let's have a look where they first shot at us from. <sighs> Robin grave robbers. We've hit the big time. Show for it, Arthur. I don't remember where the like I said. Let's look around where they jump. Think there might be something in here.
quick. Let's get back to Dutch. Well, it's lucky I ain't a religious man. It just came back there. Collect those guns, dude. You all right? You best not be playing games with us. He almost certainly is. Let's just see. Keep your head. Act normal. How's he even gonna know we did what he asked? I got a feeling most things around here get back to him pretty fast. Like I said, we should see where we're at once we got Jack. By the way, guys, I'm gonna. You took your time. Where's your host? Like I said, you took your time. <laughs> I'm glad to see you. Let's get going. What a fine man. Hey, friend. Thank I'm Mr. Bronte you for right? everything. Yeah, I'm fine. Come on. You know, Arthur, Mr. Bronte has invited us to a garden party at the mayor's house. <laughs> And us, just simple country boys. Let's go. We have a new camp set up here. <sighs> You're gonna love it. All right, let's get this boy back to his mother. You sure you're okay, son? I'm fine. Papa Bronte said you'd come for me. I'm. I'm sorry. What for? For that. For taking so long. I had a fun time. I had my own room with a big bed and a toy box. And lots of books. Did they do anything to you? Have you ever had spaghetti? What? What's that? It's food. It looks like worms, but it's delicious. Is that right? Papa Bronte teach me lots of Italian words. Don't call him that, please. You know, cavallo? That means horse. And... Pantafola? That's a slipper. A slipper? They gave me two pairs. One for day and one for night. Well, uh, I'm just glad you're all right. Oh, yes. I had the best time. But I can't wait to see Mama. Did she miss me? She sure did. Like you wouldn't know. You had a nice night then. Most enjoyable. Well... The man's an intolerable blowhard, but he stocks a fine bar. How did you fellers get on? Any problems? A whole heap of them. We about doubled the population of that graveyard. You know, I thought I heard gunshots, but the gramophone was playing. <sighs> Unbelievable. Each to their strengths, Arthur. I went in there with a gun and left with a party invitation. So, what'd you say this ah, was? A garden party? A big gala at the mayor's house. I'm told every rich fool in Lemoyne will be there. Bruh. Bronte? Oh, he'll be there too. Ah. More or less run this city. At least, that's the way he sees it. Could open up some opportunities for us. It's been a chaotic few days. But we can finally move forward now. Get the money we need and disappear. Hey, they're back. I think I see Jack. A Abigail! We got you, your son. Everything. We got him! Mama! He's fine. I'm fine, Mama. They fed me good. <laughs> Italian food. <laughs> you ever eat that? Come here, you silly boy. Uh, <laughs> you got him. You got my son back. Dutch, Arthur, thank you. Thank you. I got my son back! Jack, Jack, Jack. 
How are you, boy? I'm fine, thanks. Everything's okay now. Abigail? Can I go play now? <sighs> so, well, we met Mr. Bronte. <laughs> he is, uh, quite a character. Is he now? You ever meet an Italian strong man before? <sighs> Not outside of a circus. Well, let me tell you all about him. John, you go be with your family. Arthur, thank you. Boys, we got some work to do. Interesting work. But first, let's have a drink. <laughs> we got Jack back! <laughs> well, the boy's safe, thank goodness. Thank you, Arthur. I'm... I don't know how to say it. Thank you. I understand. Come on. Go be with your family. Go be with your family, you dog. Oh, sack of shit. To 55. You okay, Sadie? Sure. You boys did good. Well, we got lucky this time. Okay, I'll catch you later then. Okay, Arthur. Is he poor coffee? Oh, heck yeah! I didn't know. I, I did never knew you could drink coffee. Hells yeah. Uncle. <laughs> I'm actually I'm actually serious about that by the way. I thought that was Uncle singing. <laughs> I was about to compliment him like, damn Uncle, I didn't know you could sing a whole song in Spanish. <laughs> you must be starving, son. Let me get you something. Thanks, Mama. Can I play a little? Of course you can. Well done, John. Couldn't have done it without Dutch and Arthur. The old guard. I'm very relieved. We all are. Yeah. Thank God it worked out. Welcome back, Jack. Thanks, Uncle Hosea. <laughs> well, I'll let you fine folks get reacquainted. We did it. Well done. <laughs> what do you do? What you do? You not joining in? Not really in the mood. Okay. Tahiti, dear boy. Tahiti. If you say so. <laughs> Mangoes, maidens, paradise, an unspoiled paradise. Yeah, I hope so. Tell us again. <laughs> no! Anyway, I got 
I'd be like, Jose, shut the f- or, uh, not Jose. Javier! Yes. Only some folks thought it was unfair. <laughs> and at the hanging, there was a riot. They went to lynch me. But, uh, someone I never saw, he shot the rope. Clean through. Instead, they hanged the sheriff. <laughs> and I got away with nothing more than a sore neck. <laughs> Was you scared? <laughs> Absolutely petrified. <laughs> Absolutely petrified. Fair enough. <laughs> I got... All right, sir. I got lumbago. Let's leave him to play a minute. So good to have you back. Thanks, Uncle Arthur. <laughs> Let's see a smile on your mama's face again. Oh, Molly. Put something warm on, would you? Put something warm on? It. <laughs> How's it all going? I guess I'm fine. <laughs> Damn, Isabel, you bitch! Okay. Okay. Alrighty. Hey, Revner. You ain't joining the party, Reverend? I don't want to ruin it. Stop feeling sorry for yourself. You're a good All right, well, I should be getting on. Oh, uh, yes. <laughs> Revnerd. I swear. Reverend is probably one of the best characters in this game. I was thinking maybe it would be a little easier for me to keep an eye on him if we all stay together. Letting the hair grow out, but I might, I might actually sh trim up the beard a little bit. That's what length four. So yeah, we'll make it length two, and then we'll make the thing that, and we'll make the mustache length three. I don't see the difference, but okay. Damn it, God damn it, Dutch. 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 Damn it, damn it, Dutch. Sleep. Evening, I guess. I don't care, man. <laughs> All right, guys. Well, I'm going to save, and I'm gonna end. The, I'm gonna end this video here. So yeah, guys, in the next one, which will probably be a while. Bye. Oh, actually, hold on. My dear Arthur, I hope this letter finds you well. I wanted to thank you for your help with Jamie. He and Daddy are still arguing, but 
I understand that Jamie is thinking about going back to college. Whatever happens, I believe you saved his life and we are all truly grateful. Oh, Arthur. I have made such a mess of my life, time and again. Why can I not change and be the woman I want to be? Why couldn't you change and be a man and put down all those fantasies that shroud your judgment? Life is very confusing, and I see now that I am not very good at it. I'm afraid we've got ourselves into another mess. It's not my fault, but I need your help. I'm staying at the Hotel Grand in San Denis. Oh, Arthur. I know it is wrong to ask you. But I have nobody else. And for what we once had together, I beg of you. Even though I am ashamed to do so. Yours, Mary. Okay. Now, I'm going to end the video here. So, I hope you guys enjoyed it, and I'll see you guys whenever.